Okay, here's the inside of my Hyundai Santa Fe 2004. So, 10 year old vehicle, still loving it. Um, anyway, uh, what I'm doing is putting these guys in here. Um, they're uh, blind wall anchors. You can put them in without having to see the back of it. Uh, I went ahead and took apart my lower frame uh, here. There's just a piece of plastic that goes across this, a couple of screw holes uh, that keep it in place. Um, so I'm putting four of these anchors in. I've already put two in just as test. And this one I kind of screwed up because um, it tried to go too far in. The way this is built is there's a piece of this like skin material over top, a little bit of foam, um, probably you know almost a half inch, and then there's a hard piece of plastic that it actually goes through. So when these go through, the first little bit can actually be kind of soft. Um, that's what kind of gives it a, a bouncy material, you know, bouncy feel. So I went ahead and took apart the back just so I could feel behind and see how much room I had. I didn't want to like screw in my ashtray or something like that. Not like I use it anyway or anything, but just didn't want to have any problems, uh, hit any wires on accident. Um, so I just double checked, made sure it was okay. So there's going to be four going across here and I'm going to put three on that lower piece of plastic. So when I put a lower piece of plastic in, I'll go ahead and put them. I can only see, see there's nothing back here that's going to hit. Um, this is a concern but it's far enough away from from out here where it's going to be attached to so just going to go ahead and drill and I've already marked it so this is that plastic white plastic that I was talking about it's back there These are my wall anchors that I'm using, uh, hollow wall anchors. Uh, once they go in, this is a thickness of material they're going through. So I kind of measured that last night by sticking a, a punch in there and then pulling it out and seeing how much was left on the tip um, to kind of get an idea of how thick the material was. Mine was about a half inch and if you measure this, that's uh, um, I forget it, it was like three eighths or something like that from the flange to right there. So when this stuff starts bunching up, it's going to pull back on my material and be fine. If you get one that's like an inch long and you got half inch material, it's going to have a problem uh, bunching back on it. So, 6 to 30 seconds, uh, inch and a half material, or inch and a half bolt. So what you do is you stick these in here. Be careful because those things are sharp. And what I like to do, or what I to do is actually grab the back of it uh, on the flange that way it goes ahead and starts the, the initial bite is the, the part where that thing's got the most torque it hasn't bent the metal yet so it's it's kind of rough and um, that's how I ended up bending this one was I didn't do that trick so um, after I grabbed it it was fine though because it sucked the head through the foam through the through the uh, sheath here and I had to pull it all back out so what I'll do is I'll grab that, push it in as far as I can, and real slow. So it's already started to grip. That can get out. And then push this in the rest of the way. And that should be strong enough. So once it grabs like that and you, you can feel it kind of bunch um, and it gets really tight, then you unscrew the uh, screw you put in there. And now you can put the screw right back in. This thing's permanent. sits in there. And you can feel on the back side. I can't get up to that one, but you can feel on the back side where it belongs. And uh, see that's really in place. So I'll just do that again on this one. Now that I got those screws, just to give you an idea, uh, these will go back in. And uh, hold my gun in place and it fits right there like that of course I'll tighten them up um, so I've got to get put a little bit of spacer on this so these stick out so I can stick my hand behind here um, I might even put a little bit of a space on the top one to do the same thing 
So I'll go back to the store and get all that. But you can see my progress so far. And that's without the uh, gun in place. You'll just see those guys. And I uh, also have that on the, the bottom piece as well. And I also, I did this before I actually finished doing the video. Um, but this uh, blue painter's tape I used and I taped across here. Uh, and then I just cut it here because there's you know, two different pieces. Um, but I put it across here, put my holster on there, and then punched on it and then drew with marker uh, where the holes go. So this gave me a real good lineup of where all, all my uh, pieces went. So what I did is I just put this back on because I want to fit test this and see if my holes still line up. And they do with my bottom section. So now I'll go ahead and take this back off and drill. I just want to make sure there's no shift or anything when I put these guys in. Uh, but everything looks good. Um, this kind of is inward right there. So um, if I can space this out just a little bit, uh, that'll give me plenty of room to, to grab behind. This is the bottom piece of the plastic that I'm going through. Uh, my gun sits like this way, uh, trigger guards like right here. So these three pieces, I've got a hollow wall anchor already in place. Um, you can see it right there that it's bent over. I uh, fashioned a little piece of plastic um, that was uh, one of these guys. I just drilled through that to make it bigger so it would fit over top of that and then clipped off the arch uh, just to get a, a thickness of plastic back there because like I said before this is too thin. These guys need about that much material um, to you know bite into because otherwise this when it folds over it's not going to have anything to fold up against. Um, it's going to make it kind of rough. So this was perfect. Uh, and I'll do two more for these guys. I put these into uh, this hard plastic. And since this is, this is so hard with plastic, it's not going to get a bite like the other, um, you know, the other piece up in my car that's like foam and got a skin to it or like drywall or something like that. Um, so whenever I push this in, I, I look to see there's two little dots here that I'm actually going to drill out with my screw gun is just a 1 16th bit and that'll give a place where those guys can sit so now when I grab this and see it just looks like you know a hole with two small guys off this side um, I can push these in and now it'll sit more flush uh, and leave very little space behind it uh, so that's how I want to do that so I'll take my plastic piece, put it behind, screw gun, start screwing this, and if you look behind, you can actually watch this tighten up. So that's as tight as it needs to be, and you can unscrew that, and I'm good again. So. There's another anchor. This is what I mean by uh, screwing these out a little bit bigger. Just take a drill to it, make sure it's in there tight, uh, line it up. Drill that out. Take this and just snip off the back side. So there's my piece. And again, I finished the holes that belong in here. Uh, these are all the hollow wall anchors. Uh, you can see they match up with my pattern. They better because otherwise I'm screwed. Yes, they do. So now I just have to get the proper amount of spacing. So this will take a little bit of playing, but I've got these quarter inch and half inch uh, spacers, just plastic spacers, and they fit. Uh, through these guys okay so i have to be careful because i probably might need some longer screws if i go too big so here's my finished product um screwed in on all the rivet points um pretty darn sturdy i'm basically moving just the a little bit of the plastic but you see these aren't moving at all so my guys can hold in no problem um, I'll probably end up putting a cup or you know something right there, uh, not a problem. And I'll tighten this up a little bit. You see it warped just a hair, but I can easily come in here with a heat gun, heat it up, 
push it back into my mold and uh, tighten that up so where there's no issues. But that happened because I had to use a uh, different size spacers for some spots to get it kind of level. If I was going up against a flat material, it would be no issues. Um, but I did, I worked my plastic, you know, the uh, Kydex a little bit uh, whenever I tightened it to uh, this, you know, non-flat uh, uh, surface. So, but that's where it will be. And just so you can see, there's plenty of room. You know, I barely hit it with my leg whenever I'm driving. And it's easy, you know, grabbing and pull. So, not a huge deal. I really like the way this has turned out. And I've got enough room to reach back there with my finger. My finger actually fits back in there. No problems. So, I reach in, pull out, and I'm good. So, I'm just going to tighten that up with a heat gun and be done. Thanks for watching. All done. Very little play. Perfect.